welcome to another episode of the Master Student Tutorials. I'm Allison, and I am going to be the student today, and with me is Master Ross Boone. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. I'm excited. Thank I'm you. really excited. So you're an illustrator from Georgia, right? Mm-hmm. Four or five years ago, I just went out on my own to do illustration full-time. Oh, that's so cool. You have something special planned for us today. What are we doing today? Well, I asked you to give me two um, characters that I could combine together into one. And I don't know what they are. Um, I assume you, you have a couple of I haven't in mind. told him yet, and I'm very excited about this. I decided to go with um, classic superheroes. We're going to do uh, Spider Bat. Spider Man and Batman. I love it. Well, um, yeah. All right, so what I'm going to try to do with this is, in our limited amount of time, come up with some awesome images of Spider-Man and basically get um, his costume and shape and kind of like his um, general posture uh, when he's shooting his web or whatever, and then do the same thing with Batman and then combine the two into a character that looks awesome. What I see with this guy is we get his full body um, and we see the, um, a little bit of foreshortening and stuff, so we see his like... I was his leg and his torso kind of di diminishing in, into the background a little bit. Okay, this gets, even though it's uh, just another um, artist's coloring of one, that gives me all the information I need. Okay. Uh, cool. All right, so um, what I'm thinking now is I'm going to give Spider-Man a cape and give him those awesome um, horn things, those ears. Sure. <laughs> and maybe we keep the eye of uh, the eyes of Spider Man because they're so kind of iconic. Yeah, they are iconic and cool looking. And they're super cool. Yeah. Um and then we'll give him the ability to shoot webs. And yes. kinda like all of the gear that Batman has, like his belt and those like big hefty boots. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I'll do some of that. And now um Spider Man I think is a little more lean, so maybe um I'll have to come up kinda with a middle middle ground for his body shape. All right. All right, so um, uh, since this is so wide, I'm just gonna... Uh, here's a trick that took me a long time to learn. It's uh, masking. So if you take the selection tool um, and then you click this over here, it's um, in your layers panel. It'll mask off everything without deleting it. So you can always unmask it later. I love the masking tool. Um, it's one yeah, of my it's... best friends. <laughs> <laughs> And then over here, like over the years, I've um, just kind of accumulated different customized brushes and stuff. Um, nice. So I have one here that's kind of like a sketching. You know what's like, what actually works good as a sketching tool is like a ballpoint sort okay. of thing. I used to, um, oh, I need to do new layer. Um, I used to do all the industrial design drawings with um, ballpoint pen. That's just kind of how they tell you to do it. So that's kind of comfortable for me. Um, all right, let me think of what. Um, posture. Okay, I got it. So let's do his um, kind of his leg back in the distance, um, and his like other leg up forward. All right, very superhero-ish. I like it. Yeah. 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 Um, with the cape. So broad shoulders, um, kind of like this V sort of thing, V with a flat side to it. Um, I'll do the arm, and I can uh, reposition it on the screen, which is like the benefit of using Photoshop. This is the delight of digital drawing happening right here. <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad um, I can utilize that. Yeah, I... Mm. I started learning how to draw in Photoshop as opposed to in a sketchbook, and I'm a little bit addicted now. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. The back button! The back button! It's so great! Oh, I know! <laughs> oh, when I started doing my, um, the graphic recording, there's no undo button. It's a uh, permanent marker yeah. in front of everybody where they can see. Oh, it's like such an adjustment. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm trying to do, like, foreshortening with this arm, but it's kind of hard. So, that will take some adjustment once I... Put more time into that. I'm here to make your life difficult, Ross. I've no shame. Oh, it's more... <laughs> yeah, feel free to like say, okay, now Ross, give him a. <laughs> and I'll try to do it. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, there's the Spider-Man eyes. Uh, <laughs> and, the, and the bad ears. Yeah. I wonder, I guess I'll do, I think I'll do, uh, I'll show his face a little, because we can learn a little bit from um, doing a human's face. Okay. So one of the um, things that uh, kind of is, head is huge, um, kind of differentiates, I think, experienced artists from less experienced artists are um, uh, accurate features, whether it be on the face or the hands. Those are some of the e easiest ones to tell when there's a mistake, just because we all kind of know what faces and hands look like. So it's see, really easy to see, see when- This is why I don't like drawing people. Because there's just <laughs> no forgiveness if you get like a little yeah. thing wrong. I feel like comic characters are a little easier because they're cartoony. But yeah. if you're like trying to draw an actor likeness or something, okay. even a little thing wrong, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah, one of the tricks if you have to do someone who's um, like famous, I'll just bring in a picture from the internet and kind of just trace their features because it's just so hard to get it right. So if it doesn't really matter, I mean, if um, if there's no rules against that, <laughs> uh, if no one's watching, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a good way to learn too, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay, so um, probably most people have heard this if they look if they've looked into um, drawing a face, but um, you have this like breakdown of like this distance from top of head to bottom of chin. If you break it in half in the middle, that's about where your eyes are going to be. Uh, oh, okay, good trick. Good and, trick. Then, mm -hmm. and then if you break that in half from here to here, that'll be where your nose is. Oh. So the bottom of your nose. And then do that again, and you get basically the mouth. I love so, tricks. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, so I'm switching back and forth a little bit between my – by pushing E, it goes to eraser, and pushing B, it goes to the brush that I chose. Right. So, Shortcuts, um, also um, our friends. Yeah. Totally. Oh my gosh, yeah, so much easier. Here's a shoulder, just a round kind of um, shape can approximate a shoulder. I love how his build right now is totally in between the two. It's <laughs> like, good. not good. scrawny like Spider-Man, but not super buffed up like Batman is. Yeah. Good. The mission is being accomplished. Yeah. Um, okay, hands, yeah, tough, so I'm gonna just do my best here. Um, I'm looking at my hand right now. <laughs> like, <you> know, <laughs> For a reference. Knuckles. Yep. Yeah. It goes straight until your first knuckle. And then you have a couple other knuckles. And then it's, it's kind of wedge shaped. Um, and I'm going to assume they aren't just stick sticking straight out. So there's another bend that we can't see kind of going back. It's not really good, but luckily this is just a draft. Um, so, but this is um, what gets what lets you go fast is just not caring on this first um, first go round. Sure. Because yeah, you uh, can erase it all, and like what I'm gonna do in a second here is um, go up to my layers palette, make sure this one that I've been drawing on is selected, and then I can turn down the opacity. So that I, when I draw over the top of it, it doesn't distract me. Totally. And I can, yeah, okay, cool. Um, another thing I want to turn on, which I didn't really see working very well here, is almost all of these lines look like they're the same darkness, but I can actually change this so that um, my pen pressure, it, it, it basically listens to my pen pressure better. So if I am press lighter, it's grayer, and if I push harder, it's darker black. So that way, my more confident lines, I can push down harder and start to ink those in a little bit more what they'll be permanently. Right. And yeah. uh, for our viewers, what are you using to draw with? Oh, um, so this is a Cintiq uh, made by Wacom. <sighs> that is it's the dream. I want that so bad. <laughs> this was, yeah, when I didn't have one, I was like, so jonesing for a Cintiq. <laughs> yep. Someday. Someday. They're amazing. <laughs> Sorry, Allison. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'll make do with my non-Cintiq web <laughs> tablet. 
For now. For now. For now. Now you are constantly um, turning your screen around. Is that to help uh, you with um, just with angles you're stroking at, or what? Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's almost better than the way I would describe it. It's like my hand hits. It makes straight lines easier in some orientations than others. So I just move it into the orientation with which I can make that curve there. So like I'm right-handed, so this is natural shape for me. That curve. Um, undo, undo, undo. So if I need to make that curve and it's on the other side of his body, I'll just turn it until that matches with what's natural. I know some artists also um, flip their screen around to make sure they're getting yeah. like perspective, right? Is that something you do too? Oh, to get perspective. Yeah. I've seen, uh, I've seen that sure. done before. Yeah. Um, is that so that you can make sure that it looks like it's in the right perspective? I think so. Like, I've seen them, like, flip it and work on it on the other side for a little bit just to make sure. I don't know. I think when you're drawing for so long, your eyes get tired of looking at something the exact same way. Oh. And if you, like, like yeah. flip it around and work on it that way for a while, it just lets you look at it in a new way, I guess. I know what you're saying. Oh, that's yeah. totally helpful. Um, yeah, like, um, sometimes I'll just turn it upside down, um, look away for a moment and look back and just yeah. see if it's a balance. But yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. Now, um, something that, um, I found also really helps is over here in the navigator panel. Um, that works the same way just because I guess, cause it's just a different scale. So I can take it all in, in a um, smaller real estate or smaller space. Okay. And okay. Uh, it also works that way where it gives me fresh eyes on it. Very um, good. Yeah. All right. Let's see. These legs need some work. So, um, like, I think something that, like, abstract painters and um, kind of modern um, art has done a disservice to um, artists in general is that now we think that you can draw anything and it's as good as anything else and you can just call it art because you're like, oh, it's abstract. But um, in some cases that's great. But if you're trying to draw things that actually do have an accurate shape, like one that um, the random person will look at and be able to tell there's a, um, it's not accurate to real life, then your excuse that, oh, I was doing it because I want it that way isn't going to sound, um, it isn't going to lend to you being uh, considered a great artist. Totally. Um, yeah, so um, it helps to be able to um, just master the human form or, you know, a form of a horse, if you like drawing horses or whatever, because people can tell if you're good or not. Um, even if you say, no, it's uh, my postmodern impression of it, they're like, yeah, <laughs> you can't draw a horse if you wanted to, <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. That, that makes sense to me. That's why you should take courses on anatomy and stuff if you want to be yeah. a, a professional artist, I guess, hey? Um, and each little uh, kind of component of a body is a new opportunity to master um, something. So like feet are hard and they're different than hands and faces are different and just like the shape of the entire body, you know, is different as well. So once you master one, move on to another one, and um, kind of just like look at pictures. You know, this is gonna sound weird, but like even just examine your own body, um, kind of feel the muscles and how they exist in your in your body. Sure. And uh, maybe I'm not sure if this is a common um, quality of all artists or a lot of artists, but just being observant of people um, and kind of just recognizing the shapes of. I mean, it could freak people out if, like, I'm just, like, staring at some girl's lip. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, um, research. I'm an artist. <laughs> uh, uh, uh sure. Sure you are. Sure. You just like those legs. Um, but, yeah, that'll help. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's a good idea. You, you don't necessarily have to pay thousands of dollars to go to art school to learn anatomy. You can, there's so many resources out there for you. That's exactly right. No, totally. And, I, you know... I didn't go to art school. I mean, the closest thing I got was um, industrial design, which we did get to draw a lot, but um, just practice is so key. Yep. Let's see what the cape thing looks like. Yeah, this guy looks so cool. I mean, Batman's like such a cool character. Eh, he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like. I, I'm a big Marvel, big on Marvel. Oh, not as DC. big on DC. I I'm not sure why. <laughs> the Marvel characters are just like more relatable to me or something. Oh, just kind of in their story overall. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I don't know. What uh, what sort of pants should you give them? Because that's even like underwear, like old old uh, Superman style. But yeah, neither of these guys have that. Um, <laughs> I don't know. If he's got. She give him Spider Man's pants if he's got yeah. Batman's torso. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's see. We have okay. So really, it's just like um, a checkered red. Um, kind of minimalistic skin tight boot and everything else is blue cool all right so there's a boot she can okay. give him batman's boots but they're gonna be red is that's what's happening <laughs> and, actually i like that better because batman has some rad boots Look yeah at those he things. does <laughs> they're yeah. an army awesome oh you know how about i do this and then like these um kind of like cool military looking patterns on his you know like patches and knee knee pads type yeah, things. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is texture. Um, you like texture. Okay, so I'm at this place where maybe I can... Yeah, I like texture too. Um, fade this out and start inking. Ah, his head's still really big. Um, almost there. Coming and actually, this close. is the kit. Uh, this is the... Um, critical time to get this right because if I start inking it's a lot easier to change now than it is after I've spent all the time to get the sure. shape again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm loving this. <laughs> oh, you love it? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I am. Um, now Allison, you can be my um, objective view. If you if you can see those things that I can't see right now because my I'm too close to the art. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, I'm the, supposed to be the student here. You're supposed to be the master. Don't put this on me. <laughs> all right. All right. I can do that. <laughs> well, then you have to be satisfied with the less perfect final product, uh, which I'm okay with. Right. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Um, how many six pack of this? It's inch. Kind of, he looks kind of fat right now, so we're gonna just pull this back he's, this way. A little. He's muscled, you know. He's muscled. Yeah. yeah. And suck this in a little. Cool. Um, and I'll get the spewing spider web. <laughs> it's perfect. I have no oh, issues yeah. with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, kind of lacking some dynamic. He's not stretched to the limit in any gesture. Let me pull his arm out a little further. So he's like really reaching for it. So I'm going to do it at the shoulder because like he's reaching at the extent of where his shoulder can reach. Um... So it kind of looks like he's really reaching out of his, almost out of his comfort zone. Sure. Um, and then this, like, I don't know what that muscle's called, but, like, kind of the edge of your um, uh, pectoral, kind of, like, reaching out there, showing that there's that kind of, he's reaching. Mm -hmm. uh, although I think I just made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> this is why this is that. a sketch. It's fine. Yeah. And I'm doing, uh, okay, so here's a trick that, Unfortunately, it took me way too long to figure out. Um, if you push Control Z or on a Mac Command Z, it'll do one uh, undo. Or if you do Control um, Option Z, it does multiple. Let me test that out. So it's like Control Z, and then yeah, Control Option or Control Alt. Yeah. So it's like the same key. Control it Alt does Z. I use that all the time. So ah uh, yeah. Okay. Took me forever to figure that out. Yep. <laughs> you too. <laughs> yep. But I got it now. You got it. Never go back. Still not. Still not awesome. Um, at this stage, it's, it's actually um, it's, it can take a lot of time, but it's worth it to really get um, 
this right. Um, well, yeah, you want the sketch to be right before you start yeah. anything. And it's like so nuanced that a like, couple little adjustments can make a big difference. Um, People are hard, man. I grew yeah. up painting and stuff, but it was mostly like animals or scenes. Oh, and his eyes are a little googly. I'm looking over at my navigator to see what's wrong. Yep. Okay, so even though I think I want to extend this out further. Even though it's foreshortened, I think it's just not looking like strained enough. We want this character to be really performing at his peak for us. That's right. Although I'm not really super happy with that. Um. I mean, this is a little less pressure than live drawing, right? <laughs> <laughs> How big's your, uh, the list gonna be for this house and how many people are we uh how many people am i failing in front of <laughs> oh like our audience yeah. i really have no idea yet because the show hasn't actually started <laughs> as of this recording so uh we'll see how many people start tuning in I, yeah. I made an announcement that it was happening on our podcast and some people are excited that it's happening so so that's yeah. cool millions yeah in front of millions. <laughs> but it's okay because I can edit this if you make any mistakes. I probably <laughs> won't. I probably won't. <laughs> but I could. I'm okay if you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and again, just kind of like trying to figure out his posture. Um, nah, it's not as good. That looks like a sixth grader do it. <laughs> That's um, not true. <laughs> okay, so at this point, I see we're close, and I think any of the um, adjustments, I'm going to try to do it in the final ink here. Okay. So I see, like, maybe his head's a little too tall, so I'm going to start a little lower. The cheekbone kind of sticks out a little. So now I'm really taking advantage of the spinning of my screen. There's like all these little um, strokes are kind of important. <laughs> little bad ears. <laughs> little bad ears. Yep. Oop. Oh, and here's a trick I just discovered recently. If you hold down, um, if you're in your brush tool and you hold down Control and option, and you put your pen on the screen and then you drag downwards, it changes the... Um, oh, it's changing the hardness. Yeah, the hardness, yeah, exactly. And then if you go to the left and right, it goes, it goes the size. <gasps> Crazy, huh? What? So, I, so actually, I think I'm in eraser tool right now, so I just got a more, um, uh, not much. I wanted a harder eraser. Oops, I didn't use that. Um, how does this mean? I guess it's just in my... Oh no! What's happening? It might just be with the brush tool. Okay, I guess it's just the brush tool, not your eraser. That's awesome. Still pretty good. I yeah. like that a lot. I didn't know that one. Yeah, I just discovered that like in the last few months. So now it's not working. I do. Uh, I've been using like the bracket keys to change size, but that's yep. kind of handier what you're doing. Yeah, it's a little bit. A little. Although it's, you gotta be able to hit the keys right, which apparently I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, am I, I've had a glitch lately. If anyone who's watching this knows how to solve this glitch, um, I'd love some help with it. My, um, now I'm using the bracket. Sometimes my keys that I need to hold down um, don't hold down. Like, if I, if I hold down shift, I need to do a straight line. Usually that'll draw a straight line. But um, lately it doesn't act like I'm pushing shift. So I don't really know what to do. Looked online stuff. Are you on a Mac or a PC? 
A map, sorry, yeah. A map. You're one of those people. I see how it is. Well, you're a PC, Allison? Of course, I'm a gamer! Of course I'm a PC! <laughs> oh, I should have known. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know if that would be hardware or software. That's, that's a new one. Yeah, I Maybe have Maybe one of our technical viewers will be able to solve your problem for you. Oh man, this might be, it'll make it all extra worth it. <laughs> someone will be able to help me out with this. Well, have you tried, like, plugging in an external keyboard? Because then that would show you if it's hardware. Uh, um, I actually am using an external keyboard right now, so maybe I should try my, um, my normal keyboard. Yeah, try your normal keyboard. Oh. That's that's the first test. I can tell you that much. <laughs> uh, darn. Oh, so sometimes it works. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, still, still a problem. I was holding down shift for all of those, yeah. and it still sometimes did the straight and sometimes okay. did it. Okay, so it's probably something, something in your computer. Yeah, I think you're right. Some software. Or is that what you, what you mean? Some software yep. stuff? Yep. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lots. <laughs> Although not specifically for that reason, I, <laughs> I, I re-downloaded my um, driver for um, my my Cintiq, and that didn't work. I even went I went back a couple of um, versions. That's frustrating. Yeah, and uh, yeah, because it worked before, and then it stopped working when I got an update or something. I think it's so hard because this is how I make my money, and if I, I know. Updates, they're the worst. I know, they can be! <laughs> okay, so the forearm is kind of interesting because like around the elbow you have this sharp bend a little bit, but then it goes out and then thins out, or thins back in. Oh, his, I think his wrist should be a little thicker there because it's looking kind of the side of the wrist. And can you hear me okay? Yep. Okay, cool. You can give him fatter fingers, he's like, more Batman-y in the fingers. <laughs> Gotta make sure Spider-Man gets, gets his representation too. You're right. I'm watching you, I'm watching you. <laughs> oh yeah, you're <laughs> Um, yeah, I wonder how I should make sure he's Spider-Man. I think it'll probably come up more in the colors. Oh, that's true. That would be definitely undo. <laughs> um, and just to show that there's some thickness added because of the glow, I'm just gonna make his arm enter a little bit shy of that point. Does that make sense? Sure. <laughs> okay, I just had to make sure that there's an edge so that. The, okay, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the glove kind of like it has some thickness to it. Ooh, that's not a great arm. Um, we can come back to it. Hey, spider bat, man. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, he can't be happy. No, he's mad oh. that he's mashed together. <laughs> spider Man's mad that he's mashed together with Batman. Yeah, hey, I don't blame him. <laughs> I know Spider Man's way cooler. I was about to say, it's Batman who's mad. No, you're just wrong. <laughs> and I tell you what, um, Batman Begins, one of the best um, character origin stories. All right, Batman Begins is pretty good. I will give it you is. that. <laughs> I will give you that. But I'm pretty excited about the new Spider-Man. There's a new Spider-Man? It's... There will be. Did you watch the new Avengers movie? Where he oh, shows up? Yeah. That yeah, little yeah. Guest. He's uh, oh. getting his own movie. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah, I've always liked those bat those bat um those Spider Man movies. Oops. Oh wait a minute. One okay, so he should only have two fingers in the middle. Because he's got <laughs> two out here. That would make oh. sense. <laughs> 
Want them to add up to five. <laughs> we can do math. Artists can do math, right? Right? Yeah. No. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and since I remembered that, I'm going to make his pinky not stick out this far like I had in the sketch. Is I'm it pretty probably? sure that pinkies are smaller than the rest of the fingers. Yeah. I mean, I haven't taken an anatomy class, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure. You are totally right. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. Maybe we're getting close. Now I can't remember if this is supposed to be outside or the inside of this finger. That's super long. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's looking like a hand. Good. Such a long Oops. Oh, my nose. This is the edge of the hand. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yeah, I think you did it right. Cool. Actually, I think it was better before that. Although, I get the heel of his hand. Uh, <laughs> it's for some reason kind of like too cartoony. How do we make him more serious? They're superheroes. They're superheroes. It can be, it can be cartoony. <laughs> oh, now he looks grumpy. That's good. Grumpy. Yeah. Batman should look grumpy. Yeah. Batman face. And I think I'm gonna give him more like chiseled jaw to almost give it like an artistic. Mm -hmm. Um. More artistic-y, although it didn't really come across that way. They're kind of around the mouth, it sticks out a little bit. Chin can stick out a little bit. Um, ah, you can give them a little lump for the ears, I guess. Let's see how they treat that. Oops, I drew on him. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, a little lump for the ears. Although Spider-Man looks like he's earless. The spiders are earless. Spider-Man doesn't have ears. He doesn't need ears. Nah. So, um, on the kind of breakdown of the face, the ears go about at the same... The top of the ears go about at the same level as the eyes. Okay. So, I'm guessing his eyeball would be about there. <laughs> <Looks> like... <laughs> now he looks a little bit insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah! <laughs> Save. Okay. Um. Hmm. Mediocre. I don't know what you're talking about. It's fantastic. Very <laughs> <laughs> good encourager. <laughs> One of my um, client projects, I was supposed to do like a comic book, but it was more kind of like a modern comic book with a female um, character that was having some really interesting, like inner psychological um, things going on. So. Uh -huh. The rendition of it was supposed to look like this really timid girl um, with this crazy, like, sexualized, violent, inner um, demon kind of, inner character. Okay. Out. So I had to, um, I took it to the client, uh, who's actually, um, if anyone's ever heard of Jocelyn Jackson, she's a New York Times bestselling author for her, um, basically, adult women's fiction. Okay. Uh, Great, great lady. She was a, a neighbor of mine, um, so that was how I um, was able to say, hey, do you want some art? <laughs> totally. Um, but when I met with her to talk about um, the, like when I sent her an email actually the first time, she's like, um, I think we're doing this all wrong. Let's meet up. So it, and it was the, a matter of like getting it down to the right posture where... Um, 
the I almost showed you, but I don't think she's released it yet. Um, like it just wasn't full of enough um, emotion. Like like this guy is kind of still just looking like he's stiff. So if we had more time, I guess moral of the story, the, the reason I brought it up was because it, it took a whole draft. I sent it to mm. her, and then we had to um, uh, do a whole nother round of it before I got it right, which yeah. is way better at the end, but um, sometimes it just takes a lot of effort to get that kind of just overall feeling right. And, and that's really common, I think, when you're an artist. Sometimes you go back and forth with clients a lot. That's so true. I know I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so do you do art for clients? I didn't even know this. Well, I, I'm a graphic designer. So ah, not, not the same uh, kind of art you're doing. But Yeah, yeah. okay, cool. Oh, I didn't even realize that. I, just, yeah. I knew you uh, did the awesome writing blogs. And we, we write together. We do. Russ and I are, are copy editing buddies yeah. for a cool. website. Yeah, um, I mean, writing is my kind of my main thing. That's what I went to school for. But but I really love doing art, which is why I'm doing this show. Because awesome. it's just super fun for me to do for fun. Totally. Okay, let's see. Let's see this. Hmm. So control D is how I deselect things. Um, and I'm just like holding shift down to make large movements uh, with the arrow keys. And if I don't hold down shift, it makes smaller. Like, da -da -da -da, that's no, no shift. Yeah. Here's with shift. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, I just like put all these at the wrong angle. What are those things? I, I wonder. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say giant bullets. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he just like throws them at his. <laughs> uh, or really skinny grenades. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Or cigars for celebrating <laughs> after. I don't know. <laughs> it's like his cool down yeah. uh, method. Yeah. Smokes a cigar on the top of the <laughs> and jumps down. And Batman becomes a noir character. <laughs> 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 and now here's a really awkward moment. How do you do his package? Done. Okay. Mo moving on. Good job. Thank you. Proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of gloss over those questions. Stuff you need to know when you're doing anatomy, when you're drawing people. <laughs> That's right. Is he wearing a cup or. <laughs> okay, there's that little, like, bump on the side of your ankle. And then the ball of your foot, and then point it up to the toes and around. Something like that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I just drew a left foot on his right. Uh, <laughs> right, foot, right. Shame on you. So the big toe is there, and it goes back from there. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, shame on you. <laughs> Here's the ball of his foot. We got that. Okay, more or less. Not mediocre. Alright, he's looking too much just like Batman. I don't know about this. I think <laughs> your, your bias is showing. Your bias oh, is showing. Do I need to thin him out? I don't is know. That... See what happens with uh, with coloring. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That'll be our time for Batman, or for uh, Spider-Man to shine. Um, oh, I have, I have an idea. How about we do his web? in white so we could like do his back do the background in something dark and then the web can just be white on top of it totally um you're right lots of batman 
at those eyes. All right, now I'll figure out his costume. So out of the shoulder blades and down to his front. Mm -hmm. Um, it's kind of hard. So I guess it's kind of like. Less Batman -y. Yeah, getting more towards Spider Man. Uh, you're right, he is totally a lot of Batman right now. Because um, his belt is Batman belt, his boots are Batman boots, his gloves. Okay. Um, <laughs> should I give him, give him the spider? This, oh, I'll do a spider and a bat together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you like a. <laughs> Um, a spider inside the bat, maybe? Let's sure. See. Okay. Ah, actually, that's not what a bat looks like. Okay. Sorry, I'm twisting around so much, it's probably really annoying oh, people. No. Nope, no worries. You do what you gotta do. I'm doing. What I gotta do. That's right. Oops. Looks kind of like a big. I don't know. I I can tell what you're going for. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a little tweak to make it exactly what I'm going for. Okay, so I, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this peak a little higher and then arc outwards a little bit. There you go. A little You're bit. You're doing it. <laughs> All right, and then his tail will come down in the middle, and that'll be the defining point. And the spider, it's kind of weird. Kind of like a ladybug with long arms. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just That's said lady voice because it's funnier. Tell <laughs> myself awesome. that next time the spider shows up. <laughs> it's just a ladybug with long arms. It's fine. Oh, idea. I can make the make it seem like they go together by like making his leg go to the edges of the What is happening? <laughs> Oh, that's cool. <laughs> cool. Sort of. <laughs> That'll work for... I like it. ...an hour and a half or whatever we have. <laughs> um, Alright, spider bat. What do you need, bro? What do you need from me? Oh, we need another glove. I Can think you should get rid of his ear so it looks more like Spider-Man. Okay, yeah. No that. ear. No, 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 not those. Those are his, oh. like, the, the, the ear itself. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you, um, I could take off his, uh, other ears, too, if you want it to be more, uh, uh, I'm not sure yet. Okay. Not sure. There's a really easy way to... Can... Would that make it more Spider-Man? Oh, you want it to be more Spider-Man? I'm just, or... I'm just talking out loud. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I get to do his cape. Right. <gasps> yes. Oh, that's right. You wait, no. Yeah, you want more Spider-Man, and I want more Batman, right? That's that's the <laughs> argument that is happening. Yes. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Ooh, my I... capes are cool. Yes. Okay. I wonder if I could turn it into a bat. I mean, like a spider-like cape. Uh, I don't really know what a spider like cape would look like. I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know where you're going with that. Me neither. <laughs> Alright, and in order to make an awesome cape, I might have to increase this. So I just push C um, for the crop tool, and then 
Um, I can stretch out my canvas. Um, and if anyone ever um, wants and doesn't have these, um, those like control sides, um, if you click on show transform controls up here, that's how you get them. Okay. Um, another thing that took me forever to figure out is um, like you can either find your layer over here and click on it, um, but if you want to be able to just touch it, you have to you have to click on auto select, then it'll select whatever layer you touch instead of having to go over to the layer panel. Um, does that make sense? Yeah, when you have like tons of things on top of each other is probably when the layer panel is more useful. I would assume. Yeah, that's totally right. Yep. Um, okay, so... Keep blowing in the breeze. Yeah. All right, the cave's pretty cool. I'll give you that. I oh, guess. good. I was thinking it looks kind of uh, corny. <laughs> I kind of like oh. it. Oh, good. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, I just drew this on the wrong layer. What did I draw this on? Oh, I drew it on the, on the Spider-Man layer. Okay, so what I would do in this case, to, so you kind of see what happened? Yep. I, um, so I'm going to have to take um, this, control X, and then... Control Shift V and it places it on a new layer, uh, right where I um, removed it from. And now I'm gonna, okay. So these are the two layers I want to combine. I'm gonna hold down Shift, right click, which is one of the buttons on the on the pen, and push Merge Layers, and now we're back into one. one Fantastic. Okay. 